Stu is an arrogant New York City publicist who is contemplating cheating on his wife Kelly. He calls Pam, a young actress, from a phone booth on a side street. When a delivery man tries to deliver a free pizza to the booth, Stu dismisses him. After the phone call, the phone rings, and a mystery caller warns Stu not to leave the booth. The caller promises to say hi to Kelly for Stu and hangs up, leaving Stu visibly concerned. The unseen man calls back and reveals that he had previously set up two dishonest individuals in a similar situation, where he gave them a chance to redeem themselves, but both refused. The caller tells Stu that he must tell Kelly and Pam the truth, that he is cheating. The man calls Pam and tells her that Stu is married and does not want anything with Pam except to sleep with her. He then tells Stu to call his wife and tell her the truth, or else he will kill them. Before he has a chance to tell Kelly the truth, Stu is distracted by three prostitutes who want to use the phone and become hostile. He hangs up on his wife and yells at them to leave him alone. As the girls leave, the man calls and warns Stu that if he hangs up again, he will be shot. Stu does not believe him, but is convinced when the man cocks his rifle. Stu gets scared and warns him that if he shoots, the cops will arrive. However, the sniper proves him wrong by shooting a toy robot next to the booth without anyone noticing. The situation escalates further when the prostitutes and their pimp, Leon, approach the booth and demand that Stu leave. The impasse between Stu and Leon escalates to the point of Leon breaking into the booth with a bat and attacking Stu. The sniper tells Stu he can help him, and Stu says yes. Leon is shot in the back by the sniper, horrifying the prostitutes, who accuse Stu. The police arrive and Stu is instantly the suspect. He doubts that they will find any evidence to suggest his guilt to the murder, but later finds out the sniper has planted a gun in the phone booth's roof. Captain Rami tries to negotiate with Stu, but he says he cannot get off the call, and he is talking to his psychiatrist. Multiple news vans arrive, and reporters begin filming the situation, putting pressure on the police to deal with the situation without appearing trigger-happy. The caller continues to taunt Stu by telling him to take hold of the planted gun, or he would blow Rami away. Kelly arrives at the scene, and the sniper makes Stu confess to her about his infidelity. He asks Stu to choose between Pam and Kelly, threatening to kill one of them to eliminate further temptation. He tells Stu that the police are trying to tap into the call, but will never succeed due to his precautions. Stu pleads with the sniper while using his cell phone to call Kelly, who secretly informs Captain Ramey of the sniper's presence. The police finally track down the sniper by tracing the call the sniper made to Kelly. Stu informs the sniper that the cops are coming to get him, and the now enraged sniper chooses to take Kelly with him. Panicked, Stu takes the planted gun and runs out of the booth. He is shot and falls down, just as police break into a hotel room, discovering a dead body, a phone, and a sniper rifle. Stu had been hit by a rubber bullet from a police sniper, leaving him relatively unharmed. Kelly insists on seeing the sniper's body. Stu identifies the body as the pizza delivery man. Stu is recovering under morphine in an ambulance, when a man walks up and compliments his shoes. He says that he regrets killing the pizza deliverer, and warns Stu that if his honesty does not last, he will be hearing from him again. He smiles as he passes the phone booth, revealing himself to be the caller. The movie ends with the murderous caller resuming his crusade to rid the world of wrongdoers. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.